Hey there, this is Sam Peters, and today we're going to learn a really cool song by Wes Montgomery entitled West Coast Blues. It's a jazzy blues song, and uh, it's in 6-4, which means there are six quarter note beats per measure. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we start again on the one. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's look at those chords and let's learn them really quick, okay? B flat 13, this is the first chord we play. So first finger here on the E string, sixth fret, second finger on the D string, sixth fret, third finger on the seventh fret, G string, fourth finger on the eighth fret, G string. And that's it. I'm just basically gonna strum with my thumb here to make it really easy for you. So we're going from that B flat 13 to an A flat 13. So if this is a B flat 13, uh, then two frets back would be an A flat. So B flat, A, A flat 13. And then we move right up to that B flat 13 again. Our next chord is a B minor seven. And that looks like this. That's how I'm gonna play it. You're gonna put your second finger here on the seventh fret on the E string. And then with your third finger, you're gonna bar the D, the G, and the B strings all on the seventh fret. And then we're gonna to go to an E9, which is gonna go right below that. So take this shape you have with your fingers right here and then move them down one string and put your first finger in between them really on the sixth fret um, D string. So that's, that's that E9. And right after we do that, we go to an E flat nine. So if this is an E nine, we just back up one fret and you have yourself an E flat nine. We play that for two measures. And then we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna return to B flat, but we're gonna play a B flat nine. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your second and third finger here. You're gonna move them up a string to the E string and the A string. You're gonna put your first finger down here on the A string um, fifth fret and you're gonna bar your first finger uh, so you can play the G string at the same time on the fifth fret and then your pinky is gonna go here on the sixth fret B string and that's a really cool chord that's called a B flat nine and we're gonna play that for two measures so one two three four five six and then one two three four five six and then we're gonna move to um, an F9. So just like how we played E flat nine below here, we're gonna move it up two frets. So eighth fret, seventh fret, eighth and eighth and eighth. We got F9, and then we're gonna move back to our E flat nine. And then to finish the song off, the last two measures go B flat nine, D flat nine, G major seven, sorry, G flat major seven. Those are my children outside screaming. <laughs> G flat major seven. And um, what's our last chord there? I lost my train of thought. Um, B 13, which is the same thing as that B flat 13, just up one fret. My rhythm is gonna be pretty much this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm just gonna play on the one, the three, the four, five, six, for the most part. And in between playing the chords, I'll kind of 
uh, muffle them by letting go of my fingers uh, on my left hand. So I'll push, strum, and I let go. So let's learn that amazing melody. We start on beat one. And what we're gonna play is the seventh fret here on the G string. We're gonna slide into that. And then we're gonna go like this. Eighth fret on the D string, and then eighth fret on the A string. Sixth fret on the D string, and then eighth fret on the D string to the sixth fret. And we play this. So sixth on the A, third on the D, sixth on the um, uh, D. So, and then instead of playing the six to the seven, we play the four to the five. So again, that's the same thing as what we did before, but two frets back. Three on the D, I'm sorry, six on the D, six on the A, uh, four on the D, sixth on the D. And then we play the B line again. Now we're gonna move up to the seventh fret on the G string to the ninth. And that first finger is on the seventh fret on the B string. So, so that's just six, it's three notes, just going forward the scale, backwards on the scale. And then this really neat line, we're gonna slide. I use my fourth finger to slide from the eighth fret to the ninth fret on the A string. And then I'm gonna put my first finger here on the G string, sliding up from the five to the six. And then I'm gonna slide up, actually, yeah, from the seventh on the D to the ninth. And now we're gonna play something very similar to our first line. So instead of playing sliding up to the from the sixth to the seven, so we're gonna go from that sixth fret to the D string on the sixth, I'm sorry, on the eighth, Eighth fret on the A string, sixth on the D, to eighth on the um, uh, D, and we do that again. Uh, so actually, and I forgot we have the little pickup in there, and then we do that little pickup again, which is the original pickup we did, and we're going to slide up to the seven again. We're going to go to the 8th fret on the G string. So that's just like what we did earlier. It's going to go 8 on the G, 6th on the B, 8 on the B, 6th on the B, 8 on the G, and then this neat thing. First finger on the 4, slide up to the 5, 8th on the D string, 7th fret on the G, five on the, the G, seven on the D. So that goes. And then we get, uh, we go back to the eight on the G, to the six on the B, to the eight on the G, to the sixth on the G, and then seven to eight on the A to the sixth with my second finger on the D string to five on the uh, G to eight on the D to five on the D. So that goes. And then we play the original line. I think we're gonna end there on the sixth. I think that sounds cool. Um, on the G string. If you dig this video, please give me the old thumbs up. Uh, you can follow me on Patreon, where you can find the tabs to this video, as well as a backing track to this video so that you can practice your own uh, lead, but you can also practice just getting through that head. All right, good luck to you. Thanks so much for watching.